Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. We begin today with breaking news as two missing kid cases have come to an end. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christine Stanwood. Police have been searching for a missing five-year-old out of Bemidji and a missing 15-year-old out of West Fargo. Both have been safely located. That West Fargo teen, Preston Spangler, was one of three brothers who went missing yesterday, which prompted a search across town. West Fargo police confirmed Preston was found in Fargo today as being taken to a medical facility to be evaluated. His two younger brothers, 8-year-old Jacob and 12-year-old Roman Spangler, were found safe yesterday night. We have also learned that 5-year-old Brittany Blaser has been found after a deadly house fire and a suspect is in custody. Blaser was visiting a home yesterday when it caught on fire. That's when she went missing. When crews arrived, the home was fully engulfed in flames. Once the fire was under control, an adult body was found. They have been identified the victim as Melissa Norby, who was a good friend of Brittany's mother. People living near where the fire happened are thankful the little girl was found safe. We're very, very thankful because any time a child is lost, because I've got eight granddaughters that I know I would just be devastated if something happened to any of them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really thankful that she's alive and she's okay and really quickly found. We expect to get more information on this breaking story at a news conference, which starts in about an hour. We will be streaming it online. To watch it, head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. Also new for you at noon, over the past four days, Grand Forks police have responded to three drug overdoses. And those are just the ones they know about. So far in 2016, police say they have responded to 13 overdoses, and most of them are suspected to be heroin-related. Two of them have been deadly. In response to this, the department is reminding the public to look for signs of possible drug activity and symptoms of an overdose.